What's up guys? Commando Santa here, and welcome back to Buffalo Valley. So, I want to first apologize for being gone for the past week. I have been very busy, and over the weekend, if you're currently watching this when I release it, over the weekend I went to a vintage computer festival in New Jersey, um, right outside Ashford. And it was by far the most fun I've ever had in a long time. So that's kind of where I was all weekend. And, you know, just the week prior, I tried to get some things done. I did a lot of building and just a lot of things just kind of came up and I just got really busy. So I apologize for the lack of videos, but we should be good to go for the next good while now. So I should be able to, we should be back to regular, regularly scheduled videos. So that should be pretty good. Um, so yeah, I apologize. Uh, if you didn't know that I was gone, I did talk about it on Twitter. So the usual plug, follow me on Twitter. It's at Commando Santa YT. And I always am updating that with if things are happening or whatever's going on. And, you know, I like to keep that updated pretty much. Uh, so yeah, other than that, let's get into what we're working on today. So if you can already tell, I have kind of sorted out the issue of having a what we had last time which I was talking about with the train tracks um, so I ended up using the so I ended up taking the train and actually digging a tunnel under the mountain and actually coming out where we have came out right here um, and it goes right under the wooden roller coaster ish way we already have and kind of like under a little area and it looks really cool and I decided to make like a like a generic train tunnel exit and it's really cool it looks fantastic and it fits in the scenery um, I plan on having a station possibly right here almost where we are right now or at least pretty close by to here as like an intermediate station just you know because I guess this is a good time to get going to where we are actually talking about today but because it'll make more sense. Uh, I'm actually putting a lodge right here. So this is what we are working on today. It's the beginnings of a lodge. I do not finish it in this episode because this ended up being a lot bigger than I expected and I'm putting a lot more detail into it than I expected. So so yeah, strap in. This is going to be a good one. So um, yeah, one of the things that with the, um, with the train I kind of wanted, since we're going to have a lodge right here, why not have like the train station kind of right next to it so you can get out of your hotel room if you're staying in the park and this resort and hop on the train and go wherever where you need go wherever you need to go so I figured that'd be kind of cool it's a it's a really good idea and it, the another train station would look actually kind of cool right there with like the big forest and mountain in the background where Ishway sits so that's just kind of ideas um, if you guys have any, any any other suggestions for what I could possibly do here, I do want your input on um, a second one. So my original idea, and this is all kind of up in the air, I'm not entirely sure where I'm going to go with this because building this, well, you're going to notice by probably just by watching this video that I changed my mind a lot with this building, but not necessarily with the details, but more with the general layout of it. So at first I have it as a kind of a very rectangular kind of lodge looking. More modern and stuff with with basic um, rock wall base layer and then like the painted wood up above, which is more modern looking and then and then I'm gonna break it up a lot with the break it up a lot with just like the regular dark brown wood paneling and pillars and stuff. So I think it would look really good. But one of the other ideas I've kind of had was maybe having it split up into like two separate sections. So if you can see where my other section is, that's kind of like my other idea, is have that one there and have them kind of like join next to each other almost. And maybe have something either running in between them, which I was thinking maybe like a little river coming into the lake feeding from one of the mountains or something. And just kind of like, yeah, like feeds down into the middle and have like some overlooking balconies. And and on this one, which I'm currently working on right now, th there's going to be a restaurant. So it's good, like a restaurant on a balcony. So you'll be able to like look into the river and look over to the lake. Very scenic, very cool. So that's kind of my idea. I don't think the one, if I was to build another one kind of across in the area, I don't think I would like copy it. 
but I'm not sure because taking a look at it after I finish this, there's not a lot of space to work with. So I don't know. I, I don't want to actually like, I don't want to try and force a building into there if it's not going to fit really well. So I think I'm going to actually get your guys' opinion about that. And we'll definitely wait until we get a significant amount of progress done on this building as well till we actually figure out what we're going to do there. Otherwise, I'm going to put a ride there or maybe just like a nice kind of big plaza with a bunch of shops and everything because I kind of, I don't, I actually really don't want to put a ride there because if you put a ride there, it's kind of, you know, you have a very nice like contemporary style like, um, like um, hotel and everything. You have people staying there. You kind of don't want rides going crazy all the time like hearing you know like a carousel ride over and over and over again while you're trying to sleep or I mean whenever it's open you know I don't know just kind of like my thought process with that you know you it, it, you never really find like big loud rides next to where the hotels are going to be because generally that's not even not what you're going to want especially with this it's going to have like a very nice looking um restaurant on a balcony overlooking you know, it, it's, it's, it's very soothing, very like, very relaxed and you don't want like some blaring music and like screaming and stuff at all hours of the time. I mean, it's pretty close to the uh, River Rapids ride, but that doesn't make any noise really. But Yeah, so I guess that's, that's a good segue into what we're actually working on now, which I've already touched on. It's going to be the restaurant. So the restaurant is kind of, I didn't expect it to happen right away but it just kind of happened. I mean, I, I expected myself to actually like finish the entirety of the building and then like get the layout down of where I want like windows going, where there's going to be uh, rooms and everything. But all of a sudden I just started making this balcony and I'm like, hmm, this would look really good being a restaurant. Like you have the restaurant inside and then they have like outside seating. So I just kind of ran with it and it turned out fantastic. Wait till you see the end. Um, it took me a few... It, 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 uh, yeah, I just kind of like started like detailing like crazy and it, it just turned out really, really well. Um, I kind of enjoyed the same kind of style I was already getting at with kind of the rest of the park. With the those wooden pillars, the, the thin wooden pillars with just kind of supporting like a roof. And then I also wanted to incorporate the the modern windows because I've actually fell in love with the modern windows that the game has because they look really cool. Well, they don't really look that good by themselves. It's when you actually detail them up and they actually start to look very, very nice. So you'll see me placing them all over this. And I actually, because I wanted to keep this lodge, I wanted to start upgrading everything to a little bit more modern looking and keep it kind of just kind of neat you know and it it looks great with these modern windows and I've I've finished a lot of that a lot of the um, the lodge already but I couldn't fit it all into this episode but I've already done most of the the actual hotel rooms and everything and it actually looked really really nice so uh, just with the modern windows it looks it looks like an actual lodge that I mean, yeah, it looks like an actual lodge that people would actually stay at if they'd actually want to stay at a resort at Buffalo Valley. So I'm very proud of myself, and I'm actually very proud of how this turned out. But in this episode, we focus more on the restaurant, so that's pretty much about all about that. Um, Color-wise, I kind of wanted to keep... I don't know, I was starting to build it, and I'm... I was building it with the thoughts of I'm probably going to change the colors and everything, but I kind of wanted to get the set kind of the set building set down, you know, if you know what I'm trying to say. It's I didn't want to like I kind of wanted to get the idea in my head, which I had the idea in my head. Then I wanted to get it on paper in a sense where I just start building, and then I figured I'd fig I I figured I would like get the colors down packed once I've actually got something to show, and. When I got to that point, I actually st stood back for a little bit and looked. And I was actually happy with the color palette that we've already had. And this is all the default colors. I didn't really change the colors except for the walls, which were I changed to like a nice kind of like off-white. All the wood textures, all the, the railings and everything, the railing colors, that's all just the default colors that the game gives you 
when you first start it. So I don't know. I just I just saw it looked really cool with like the white, um, the different kind of roofs. Uh, the roofs I'm actually going to do the blue like I did with the um, other lodge building I have if, closer to the Boulder Rapids ride. If you remember us working on that, I think that was actually episode 10 we did that. Um, but yeah, and then the, the the dark wood kind of pillars with the uh, different rock colors and and then the green. And it just, it just starts to look really nice. Everything blends together really nice and it looks really nice, I guess. Uh, just I'm just really happy with how it turned out. Um, so I guess I'm going to keep this with a color palette, this kind of color palette. So yeah, other than that, I'm just, I don't think, yeah, I don't think we're going to do anything different with the colors other than maybe like, maybe the second building will do something different, but we'll see. I don't know. Uh, after this, I plan on doing, um, there's only a few things left I have to do really on this. Uh, in this episode, you know, we're only focusing on the restaurant, but actually I really only have to do like the plaza and I kind of want to do something with, I kind of want to have a dock over here as well. Um, kind of just the same style as we've done already. Cause I think it looks pretty good. So I kind of want to get into my idea that I kind of, I was working with, with the restaurant. I had a, once I actually got the idea that I wanted to make a restaurant, I actually stopped and thought about what I actually wanted to get out of it. Was it going to be a normal restaurant where it's just kind of like, here, let's, you know, you go up to the counter, grab your food, sit down somewhere, or was it going to be like, uh, not that fine of dining, but, you know, sit down, basic waiter, waitress, maybe more of like a bar or pub food where they have like burgers and fries and stuff, or was it going to be more of like a sit down, very nice, fancy table service? And I put that all in mind and then I actually kind of like thought about my past experiences with like resorts and stuff and I came to the conclusion that I didn't want it to be super fancy but I wanted to have the ability to become fancy now I'm not I don't know if you guys understand what I mean but let me explain it so if you've ever been to like some of the resorts um like I've I'm thinking back to like a resort I stayed in like Punta Cana, uh, Dominican Republic. Uh, it, it was in a sense, there was this one big open air building and they would have, they had a big kitchen in the back and during the day, well, they did breakfast during, in the morning, they did lunch during the day, which was all buffet, but at night they put candles everywhere and they actually put, you know, beautiful like wool cl cloth kind of, uh, tablecloths over everything. And turn turn this like open air buffet place into almost a five star steak restaurant, steak and like steak and seafood restaurant. It was absolutely fantastic. So that's kind of like the idea I'm getting with this. So I'm thinking maybe like this place wouldn't be specifically open for breakfast, but they would probably be open for kind of more bar food lunch style, where you can like sit, enjoy, sit by the sit on the balcony if you wanted to, enjoy the sun, look at all the sights and stuff. But come dinner time and when the sun, you know, is going down and you get like the the beautiful uh, reflections of all the lights in the park off the off the lake and everything and you you know, you get the the late at night kind of smell, well more of like the dust kind of smell where, you know, it just it's a fantastic fragrance of, you know, the water, the pine trees and everything. And, you know, some of the rides are still going, but everything's starting to, like, quiet down almost. And here you are sitting down, having dinner with a candle, with your significant other sitting across from you and, you know, chowing down and do a nice steak and everything. That's kind of, like, what I wanted with this. So I had that idea in mind, so I had to start somewhere. So this is when we started decorating. Um, we don't really have good tables and chairs in Planet Coaster, so I had to make them all from scratch. So I used the basic art pieces that we already have, and I just kind of went wild with them, trying to find something that would actually make it look like chairs, and I have to say, that was a very difficult thing. I don't know if I'm super happy with how they turned out, but I think they turned out good enough that... The, you can figure out that they're chairs and they look like they belong there because from far away you're not going to notice how pretty bland they are. 
So the basic art shapes look kind of cool. And I want to keep it more modern, you know? Just kind of like simple modern chairs. So I just, you know, like did the almost like two cushion front bottom and then the back rest almost. And then something a little fancy with the, um, with the, the, t the chair legs, which were the, I think they're like the iron hangers for like plants or lights or stuff that I, I just kind of found them. And they looked really good as ta as chair legs and stuff. And then I used like the wood pieces for table legs and that looked good enough. So I ended up just kind of like copying them and pasting them through the, uh, through the restaurant and everything. And it actually, the spacing itself worked really well. Now, I don't think to scale wise, this is perfectly to scale with what the size of like the normal guests are in Planet Coaster, but that's okay. It kind of gets the idea across and it, I don't think it would look right if they were any bigger because you have them lining the, the side of the balcony and everything. And then they also, and then on the inside towards the windows, there's enough room for the waiters and waitresses and everyone to walk about and stuff. And then I also placed a few props later around everything that actually allowed the, um, allowed everyone to like, I don't know, it just kind of had some things where, I don't know, thinking wise, it was for like the waiter and waitresses, they had like, I placed the barrels and like little tables that maybe they can set things that like, you know, you have your menu set there and, and I put down like a few like bulletin board almost looking things which could have like specials and stuff and you know, and then just kind of put flowers and little detail props here and there. And it just turned out fantastic. Everything turned out fantastic. So, yeah, I don't think I can really hit touch anything else aside from, you know, placing candles on tables and everything. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the restaurant. Uh, so make sure to stay tuned to look at the cinematic shots of it. They're, they're going to be really small because there really isn't anything else. Um, a few more plans I have for the the next few episodes are going to be um, just you know we're gonna finish up this and then I'm gonna move on to a ride I also had someone recommend that we get a steel ride as well and I have thought about that and I really wanted to like and I answered back to him saying like I kind of want to do the American Arrow so we're gonna have to find a spot for the American Arrow I still want to do that like almost old Fort Niagara kind of star fort maybe somewhere we'll see um i also have another thing i kind of work on which i guess i'll talk about right now uh, i kind of want to add a chairlift up the side of the mountain towards ishway or up the side of the mountain towards the boulder rapids one i'm not sure yet and we'll possibly see where it lands i'm not sure we'll definitely have to think about it uh also you know, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Any suggestions or anything you guys think. Or maybe if you don't like something, let me know. Maybe I'll change it. I want to stress upon, you know, the usual thing I like to stress upon. I like doing this more as a collaboration with you guys. I mean, this is not my project. This is our project. Uh, most of everything I've built here was you guys. So definitely let me know what you guys are interested in seeing. Maybe, like, collaborate amongst yourselves. And let me know on Twitter if you would like. Um... And definitely, if you need help with any of your stuff, definitely hit me up on Twitter or add me on Steam or whatever. I'll be glad to take a look. And yeah, that's pretty much it for everything. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure to hit that like button if you really liked it. Comment if you, you know, have anything to say. And hit that subscribe button if you really liked it. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Mm -hmm.